Hey everyone, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to change the skins mid animation. So in the middle of the animation if you want to turn your character into a zombie or you want to turn your character into, into someone else then you can do that pretty easily. So to demonstrate this I'm going to be using the BPS rig version 4 rig, link will be in the description along with the Squared Media Discord and the YouTube channel as well. So be sure to check out the links in the description as well. So the first thing I need to do is for example if I want Steve to turn into a zombie I can first select this material mesh where I can manipulate the materials and we all know that if you click this we have some material options. But for this particular thing I want to go into the shading tab. So above here you have different panels and then here you want to choose the shading tab which is uh, on the left side of the animation tab. So click on shading and we're going to go into the shading workspace. And here we have notes which are basically the same things we see here but we, we can do more things here and then we can see them pretty easily. So the first thing we want to do is as you can see, this, this, these three nodes represent Steve's skin. So here we have Steve.png, we have VPS version 4 skin. So the main principle for this is we want to copy these nodes. And then after we copy these nodes, we want to insert another skin in the second nodes. And then once we do that, we need to connect these and mix them together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Let me get rid of this panel because we don't need this. I'm going to get rid of this panel as well. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing the cursor on the left side I'm clicking this and then dragging it on the left side to get rid of this menu so now we have a whole shading workspace here and by the way be sure you're in the material view to see it change because you might not see it in a solid view so first thing we need to do is as you can see if I left click and grab my node and if I left click and hold I can move it around another thing I can do is I can click on B to box select it I'm gonna click on left click and drag it and then it's gonna select all of those nodes and one thing I need to do is click on shift D because shift D is copying letters, as you know. So I'm going to click on shift D, move my cursor or move my mouse down. And then somewhere over here, I'm going to do left click to release it. And now I copied all of these nodes. Now here, material output view, I'm going to take this left click and then move it down. So another thing we need to do is click on shift A and the shift A is creating letters, as you know. So shift A is the same for the shader editor. And instead of choosing these manually, I can click on search and then type mix shader and then choose the mix shader node I can left click and the node is going to appear and then as you can see if I hover my node over this line it's going to become bright so once it becomes bright I can left click it and then as you can see, as you can see it's going to be connected so now what I need to do is take this BPS rig version 4 skin node click on the green shader icon and then connect this into the shader of the mix shader if that makes any sense so as you can see we just connected these two new nodes now what we need to do first is change the skin here of what we need to change in the animation. For example, in this case I said I wanted to turn Steve into a zombie. So what I can do is I can click on X and then it's going to delete the skin and I can click on open. I can go inside my animations or skins folder wherever I, I, I have saved my skins and then I can import a zombie skin. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on open. Uh, then I'm going to go inside my Minecraft animations folder, Minecraft animations, skins and then zombie. And as you can see, this looks horrible. This is not what we're looking for. But basically, if I move the mix shader on zero, we're going to have Steve. We're going to have the nodes which you have above. But if we move the mix shader all the way to one, I can left click and drag this to one. We're going to see the skin which we have on the bottom side. But as you can see, the zombie looks like a human. So I can click on this material tab. Then I can click on end to bring out the sidebar. I'm getting some questions about it in the comments. So I'm going to show you how to customize the skin. I'm going to go to item, uh, not tool, but item. And then below we have properties. If I click on this properties and if I scroll down, I can have different options. So if I drag this to zero, I'm going to have make the eyebrows disappear. I can do the same for the eyes and mouth. As you can see, they disappeared and all I have is the zombie skin. Some people also ask how to get thin arms. Why do I see pixelated arms? That's pretty easy to do. All you need to do choose is the slim arms, make it one. And then you're going to have the Alex arms. If you do zero, you're going to have Steve arms and so on. So once we got rid of the eyes, as you can see, it's pretty easy to switch between the skins. So I can do zero and one. But the problem is if I do zero, Steve's eyes disappear. So make sure you're doing this on a skin which doesn't have too many facial expressions or make sure your character doesn't have too many facial expressions in a moment you want to transform. So keep that in mind. But once we're ready to go, once we did all of these things, I can easily keyframe this. So I can actually bring out another panel here. So if I hover my mouse over here, left click and drag this up. And then I can go here and click on the shader editor icon and then turn this into a timeline. 
So if I click on this, go to timeline, this is gonna turn it into a timeline. And then I'm gonna click on this, which is the auto keyframing. I'm gonna go to keying and let's keep this at location and rotation. And one thing we could do is I want some on frame zero, which I set from here. Some of you might have it on one, I set it on zero. So once I'm on frame zero, I can go inside the mix shader. I'm gonna left click, left click on this node and then click on insert keyframe. Or I can hover over it and press on I, and that's also gonna set a keyframe. Now I'm gonna go forward about five or 10 frames. Let's go to 10 frames, for example. And then I can left click or drag this up, or I can simply click here and then type one to make it val the value of one. Now, if I play my animation, as you can see, it went from Steve to a zombie. Now it does this thing where it glitches, but once you render it, it's gonna look smooth. You can make this faster if I left click and select my both keyframes, I can make this faster, drag it to four or five, make it faster, or you can make it slower and just do whatever you want. So this is how you can easily transform characters, how you can change the skins in the middle of the animation. All you have to do is just copy these notes and then use the mix shader node to control it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed watching this. And if you're new here, then be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get more information. And I do Minecraft animation tutorials every week, and I also do some of my young Minecraft animations. And also, if you want to learn how to animate faster and how to speed up your workflow, and generally how to work faster while making Minecraft animations, then you can check out this video right here, and I will see you there. Thank you for watching.